All right, whether you like it or not, <laughs> trending this weekend mm -hmm. is the Super Bowl. The Super Bowl. So uh, you, I know that there's fans on both sides, mm -hmm. but mm -hmm. you're going to hear about it. You are going to hear about it. And yes, there is a game that's happening. It's the big game happening Sunday night. And as the Kansas City Chiefs, you already know, are taking on the San Francisco 49ers in Football terms, I guess you could say, we're officially in the red zone now. You see what I did there? Now, just two days away from kickoff, yeah, you know where it is, in Las Vegas. Of course, there <laughs> would be no Super Bowl without a game ball. Mm. And every year, Wilson brings a little part of its factory in Ada, in Ada Ohio to mm -hmm. the big game <laughs> to show fans the process of making an NFL football. These folks, Ashley sews footballs every day. Keaton turns them every day. I mean, these folks live in the factory. Pam's been with us 30 years lacing footballs. Every football from the preseason through the Super Bowl is handmade. Yes. Now, what about the flip coin? Okay, that's, you know, the coin flip that they do. Mm -hmm. That starts off the game, of course. And in Florida, one company has been creating iconic Super Bowl memorabilia for decades. Now, just recently, it sent this year's batch off to Las Vegas. Highland Mint has been producing the official NFL Super Bowl flip coin for 31 years. Now, each coin is numbered 001 and it will be used to decide who kicks off and who receives. Of course, we know how that goes. And of course, if there's overtime, they use the coin triple zero. And there you go. News you can use. Yeah. Some people will be watching the Super Bowl for the performances. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Now, this year, they do include a few folks we know, like a music legend, Reba. You know, you recognize the, the red hair. I've mm -hmm. always wanted to have that style. Now, they're also going to have rapper Post Malone and pop and R&B singer, guess who? Usher. 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 Reba will be kicking things off. She'll be singing the national anthem. Okay. Now, Usher is now working to fit 30 years of music and it's just a 13 minute set for Sunday night. I know how that goes. I do that with weather all the time. <laughs> now he has been teasing the celebration of his music career during the Super Bowl 58 halftime show, the eight time Grammy winner, tight lipped about the details of his set, but hinting at who could join him on stage to surprise the millions watching. I think I made it easy for myself when I decided to have like features on songs that became hit records. And from Alicia Keys to Nicki Minaj to Lil Jon and hey. Justin Bieber, yeah. Usher's history of high-profile collaborators and his generational hits are leaving fans guessing. Oh my, you gotta wonder who's the surprise guest. I know. I'm looking forward to that. Now, of <laughs> course, it wouldn't be the Super Bowl if we weren't looking forward to, of course, the commercial breaks. Now, there's an all-star lineup coming to you, uh, to your TV station, just this Sunday. All right, here's a preview of just five of the commercials mm. you can expect to see. One of the most talked about so far is the Uber Eats ad, including Jennifer Aniston and David Schwim Schwimmer. The commercial shows her forgetting her friend's show co-star <laughs> so she can make room to remember his Uber, her Uber Eats order. Oh, I get it. I get it. Her friends co-stars like because the friend show. I see. What's uh huh. Yeah. But of course, <laughs> probably the most talked about Super Bowl question. Uh, Will Taylor Swift okay. make it to Vegas in time yes. from Tokyo? That's what we need to know. Now, hey, that's everything everybody wants to know. <laughs> a source close to the couple confirms the pop star will be at the big game to cheer Ooh. on boyfriend Travis Kelsey. Thank goodness. Yes. Oh, my goodness. I wasn't going to be able to sleep. <laughs> she <Yeah>. has received <laughs> screen time at every game she has attended, causing some controversy. Mm -hmm for football fans. Oh, no, 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 no. But now Swift does have a show tonight and tomorrow in Tokyo, so we will have to wait and see if she is able to make it. You know, I was joking with our, our producer Marissa here today, and I said we should have a camera live on the tarmac in Tokyo, the plane, to see when it takes off and track it. So yeah, I, I think mean, it's important. what if there's something wrong with the plane and they got to sit on the tarmac oh, for a while? My, the Super Bowl will be postponed. We're what? not we're not starting the game until she gets there. What if they lose her bag? She, she, she's not there, the game does not go on. <laughs> Period. That's it. No. Well, also check this out, Michelle. A Las Vegas wedding chapel is taking advantage of the synergy of the Super Bowl. The A-list couple, Chapel of the Flowers, is offering free wedding ceremonies. The couple's name, get this, Taylor and Travis 
on Super Bowl Sunday. I wonder what they're wanting to see there. Now, listen, the chapel says it's ready to offer the famous couple a free wedding too, of course. It, now, if they choose to turn game day into their wedding day, now that's a tease. Would that's you do that? Would I do that? Yeah. You know, it's, you're in Vegas, you got, hey, when in Vegas, you know, hey, hey, why not? Well, but for them, I feel like she'd have to make an Instagram special announcement yeah. or so. I just don't see her just wanting to do it yeah. like that. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But All who right. knows, you know. Okay, now. Huh? Super Bowl predictions. Oh boy, here we go. We've been talking about this. Here's yes. what I think will happen. Yes, yes. And also, I was I was mm -hmm. just talking. Mm -hmm. I was flying off at the handle here. So <laughs> I think that Travis is going to propose to Taylor. Oh. I think she's going to say no. Oh. I think she's going to announce a new single. <laughs> I also think that she'll come out and perform with Usher. Okay. Okay. And I think the Chiefs will lose. Wow, that and, is a and there, lot. And there's my score that I And there's your score I think score it'll there. be Niners 47 to 42. Oh, okay. Well, I don't know if I have quite the breakdown like you have, you know. And I make predictions every day. Who would have thought? But you really thought into this. I don't know. I mean, I, I mean, I think if they win the Super Bowl, maybe Travis tries to propose. But, you know, what I really think, though, is the 49ers are going to win. This is their year. I think 31-24. Okay. They had bad luck the past three years in the NFC Championship game to get to the Super Bowl. So this year, stack team, everybody's healthy. Go 49ers. Okay, well, mm -hmm. maybe. I guess we'll just have to see what will happen. Yeah. But I feel like if we're right, if the uh -huh. 49ers do win, yes. we should get uh -huh. a week off from work. You know what? I'm like they're with you on that. In fact, I hope they're listening on that. I'm like, you know what? I think that's a great proposition. And you know what? I'll also be watching. I think more so than the game now is if your prediction is correct. I want to see if there's a proposal or not now. I, now that's what got my interest now. We'll have to see. The yeah. big game, it kicks off at 630 Eastern time on Sunday night.